So to download the Traxxas FlyLink app, just open up your app store. Uh, you search for the Traxxas FlyLink. And uh, I already installed mine, so that's the one. That's one you need to select. Once you get that downloaded, and the app is right there. So you open it up. Now you have the app. All you need to do now is to connect it to your quadcopter. And that's what we gonna do next. So I got the app uh, downloaded to the iPad. As you can see here, there's the app from the um, App Store. So as you bring it up, uh, the app will look pretty cool. Right now it's not connected to the quad console yet. But I'll show you how to do that. Very simple. First, you open up the battery compartment door. Fly your battery in there. And plug it in. Let it uh, boot up. So now as you can see, the app actually reflecting all the light back here on your Traxxas account. It's actually, you can see it from the app, exactly the same thing. Okay, so with that, you can go to the dashboard. With the dashboard, you can actually see the ground speed, the air speed, climb rate, there, okay, velocity speed, altitude, and uh, latitude and altitude. And there's more down here, as you can see, you know, the heading. So if I move the, the drone, everything related, pitch, Okay, roll. You can see that in, in real life, uh, real time. Okay, so display the voltage. So this dashboard actually gives you uh, real time information, more like the the telemetry. Uh, that you typically get from other uh, drone um, information. But also you can get into the custom setting of the drone itself. So this is the field mode, okay? So you can adjust the speed. You can also adjust that speed down here um, for that. If you go to sport mode, you can adjust how much pitch of the drone itself by sliding this so that the more pitch, the faster it goes. So you want to keep it, I like to keep it right there. And that just uh, enough for me to do. And also the maximum rudder control you can slow it down if you um, move your rudder stick how fast you want it to turn this is basically uh, what this is uh, setting for when you go to expert mode this is how fast you want it to flip the, the quadcopter okay the rotation rate same thing with the uh, the rudder which is the yaw uh, setting you can change that as well okay so all of this can be done from the app and upload that parameter to the flight controller and you can set limit uh, meaning that this is geo fencing meaning the door will not come closer to you once you have the controller in your hand how far you want it to, to come to uh, 
to this. So I'm setting to no limit at this, at this time. And the ceiling, the altitude go up to 400 feet. Okay, you can also say no limit. Meaning you can go as high as you want. But I want to keep it at 400 feet since that's what the FAA wants us to do. Return home. When it, you hit the button on a remote control to return home, it will climb to uh, 120 feet. If you want it higher, you keep going higher, 150 feet, and then come home. If it's flying below 125 feet right now, it's flying below that, and you hit the turn home, it will climb up to that height and then come home. And you can also calibrate in uh, the quadcopter by using the calibration op option here. Okay, and here's the light. So I want to show you this. So you see all this light here on the on the arms. Okay, so I can turn off the light by doing that. I turn it off. Turn it back on. Turn it off. You can see the light in the on the screen here as well. Cool. Okay. You can also control your transmitter from here, setting up different buttons uh, to do turn off warning or turn on uh, from here. Okay, you can do all that from there, and you can also get a uh, firmware upgrade from here as well. So they um, Texas is really giving all in. I mean they have a really nice cool app I've been using this app for the past few weeks it worked flawlessly it's not even a glitch I love it um, it works it's responsive to the aircraft um, have no issue no complaint from my side um, just good overall okay so that's it guys um, I'll see you next time